Hi there, and welcome to another edition on Bustanet. And today's show is going to be all about FM17. Yes, we have the lowdown on the game, the tactical creator. Some changes are in the game on today's show. I'm going to cover some of the features that I like about this game and what you can expect. Okay, so there are plenty of changes to the game. Um, you have something interesting here, tactical advice, pre-match tactical advice summary. So if you if you've got a pretty good ass man, he's going to come up with uh, what should you do. Okay, if you notice something, I'm, I'm playing with this ridiculous 1-5-3-1-2 DM system. Yeah, I've been trying this out for a couple of games because it's only the beta. We're not getting serious, are we? So I take Barcelona, I take the best side in the world, which is what I always do. If you want to find out what the engine is like, always take a very, very good team and see what you can do with them because what you can do with them is what's possible in the game. And if you try this out with clubs like, um, like you know, some middling club in the lower echelons of any league, you, you can't try things out with them. So so try it out with a big club. Then you know what the main tactical thing is like. So here the player duty combination. 5 to 6 support duty sen sensible or standard mentality. Now this is very interesting. Because um, you, we didn't have something like this in previous editions. It makes a lot of sense. Because um, the, gen the direction SI is going in. Is they want you to play the game by putting elements together. So you, you need to know... Um, how to fit roles and duties, mentality, shape, all together into one nice mix so that when you do shouts, it makes sense. What this means is that you have to be able to play the game by switching things around because the AI is definitely going to throw that at you. So if you can't do it, then you're the, you're the kind of manager that sits back and goes like, okay, I've downloaded this tactic. Let's see how it plays out. You're screwed. Okay, so that's the news I have for you because that is definitely which the, the direction they're going in. So, um, for all those people that get personally coached by me, good news for you because the system that you've learned is going to work for any edition of the game. So for the rest, then just watch my videos and um, you know understand the concept. The concept is really simple. Understand what mentality does, understand what shape does, then understand what roles and duties do. Now when you choose your team, start with roles and duties first. Okay, Know what your players can do within your tactical setup that you like and then apply mentality and shape and put the whole mix together just like i do on my in my matches which is i make minimal changes i don't change the tactic around too much i just um make a few shout changes you should be fine after that but here this is very all these stuff are very easy look at this stay on feet encourage players to stay i i love this you know work ball into box would improve our chances or results so there's plenty of good um in information here okay here they want me to remove work ball into box would improve our chances of a result mm, why will make us less effective going forward as we'll be too patient on build up play okay no thanks so much higher defensive like i believe his instruction will harm our chances of getting a positive result from the match that's about as much information as you can have but okay tactically uh very little has changed but some this is this is some of the really cool information that uh is available in the game i also like the post-match analysis screen this is a match we uh beat the game uh we played this uh system this is a bit i don't know i only have one central defender i want to prove something to myself the thing is in this game right now if you have a logical system okay i know some people may think having one central defender is not logical but hang on a minute you know it's this game is all about controlling space so how did i set this whole tactic up i just want to control space i'm not going to give you the full details about this tactic you can go and figure it out yourself by yourselves but this is a whole idea i i I use my roles and my duties intelligently by putting them in interesting places because I want to see what the AI can throw at me. Because if I play something like this, I want to see whether the AI makes changes because there are definitely goals in this um, uh, at, uh, system. Uh, I probably won't use this seriously if I play with uh, my um, my long-term career, but I just want to try something out. But you have this as a post-match analysis again, and then you see the central heat map, we were away from home, and then it will show you past combinations between key players, which is another sweet addition, okay? Look at all the, the passing network that is created, which is actually very, very good. And then our key passes, you know, I, we, I know that, but it wasn't too much in this game, but we had a great game, uh, and it was fantastic. Now, in terms of tactics, uh, there's one more change to the game, which is this. Uh, we have now individual familiarity. So I just changed tactics, right, uh, out of the blue. So mentality hasn't changed passing style. He's got to get used to the new formation, which is interesting. 
So now we have something that tells me that my when I change tactics, uh, what is the downside? See, this is my other tactic and this is my new tactic that I've created. It's my old tactic. You see how familiar with it they are with it because they've been playing with it for such a long time. Very cool. What about this? Team comparison has changed. Oh, you're, so, you're such a beautiful thing right now. Look at this. You have so many more attributes. Um, I mean, I won't say there are a lot more. They're almost the same attributes, but they've done it graphically, which makes it a lot easier to compare yourself. So this is uh, some of the changes that I've noticed. There's one more change as well. Um, if I were to switch to this, I think we have a defensive fullback. There's a new role in the game, which is interesting, which is very interesting. Okay, so uh, I've used a few systems right now to try things out. So they've got some new roles in the game that I'll, I'll let you, you know, I'll let you experiment and find out what these new roles are. But meantime, let's take a look at one match I just played against Real Madrid. In the game that I'm playing against um, Real Madrid, I'm going to be playing with a pushed up D-line. It's We are playing a maxed out D-line with an off side trap just to see how Real Madrid handle us defensively okay so as you can see the match is just kicked off and immediately <laughs> my system uh, shuts them down and Suarez is off and Suarez misses what would have been a great goal but it's a sign of things to come here you can look at the high press that we are doing up in the opponent's half and once again my solitary defender doesn't do too bad but immediately you can see they are having issues working the ball tactically the engine has changed slightly so now it's actually if you set up your system correctly it's going to be quite hard for them to cross the ball Messi beating one player Mascareno what a pass to Luis Suarez as Suarez scores they are true one goal ahead and this is the cool part about the engine. The AI is gonna go down, so what does it do? It immediately changes to standard fluid to try and get a goal back. Uh, they managed to get the ball, defending is okay, but now they're still playing that 4-3-3 that they have. We play the, I'm looking at my defensive line. We are pushed up, so the question is, um, Compression play is something I'm going to try and do a lot more of this season. To, in order for me to play like more Pochettino or Jurgen Klopp, I will have to play with a maxed out defensive line, regardless of mentality. Once again, they can't work the ball. Nice interchange of passing. Rakitic through to Suarez. Once again, Suarez goes in. Oh, he misses what should have been our second goal. Roberto to Rakitic. Rakitic out wide. Can't get the ball to the flanks. We've got so many players waiting for the cross. PK to Iniesta. Iniesta short pass to Messi. Messi inside the box. He's going to lay this up. No, he doesn't. He shoots and he goes wide. Okay, we are definitely making things happen. Alba with the throw to Roberto. So many players in the box. We're going to have to score a goal. And Suarez does exactly that. Inside the box. Yes, 2 0 up. 22 minutes in. What are Real Madrid going to do? Uh, I'm playing in a really attacking system. So the only way that the AI is going to come back at me is by attacking me back. So far, it's only um, Real Madrid defending and Barcelona attacking. Attacking structured is my mentality. Nothing has changed. Benzema through to Vasquez. Now remember, I only play one central defender. They play to Casimiro. Casimiro scores the equalizer. I definitely did expect something like that to happen. But once again, you know, this is a habit. As you can see, my system has not changed. It's still the same attacking structure. Casemiro with the goal. All right, so now we have uh, we are 36 minutes in. Uh, nine shots on goal, 51% possession. Not doing too bad. Our uh, pass completion is about 69%. Not exactly my highlight. <laughs> so, but I just want to have fun. Suarez to Roberto. 45 minutes. And now they've got attacking very fluid and they changed to a 4 4 2. They definitely want to get back into this game. Luis Suarez, true to Messi. Messi can't clear the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo is. Uh, he can't do anything with that. Iniesta, shot to Messi. Messi, true to Suarez. Suarez breaks, brought down in the box. But what a tackle. So. Now they're going attacking very fluid. 
Ooh, I love this. The AI is definitely trying to get back into the game and it's going to throw things at you. So when you're playing any kind of a system, if you're going to play against the AI, you got to be prepared. If you're taking a goal, a lead against the AI, the AI is going to come back at you. So you need to know what to do. And if your roles and duties are not solid, you can kiss it goodbye. Here we go. It's 3-1. But this game was a cracker. The final result of this game, I will leave it to you. I think you may have spotted it at the start of the show. But I'm not going to tell you because it was quite a match between Barcelona and Real Madrid. Because I didn't change my setup. I was attacking structured. Barcelona went attacking very fluid, which gave me some, gave me the slight edge against them, in my opinion. Cuantro to Isco, Isco to Cristiano Ronaldo. Again, he has no passing options. They play it through. Ronaldo is inside the box, uses his space, finds Benzema. It's 3 2. After scoring the goal, they go standard fluid. Makes a lot of sense. Yes, it does. If you're trying, you know, if you think that you can compress play and get the game back. So the AI is probably going to do that to you in the game. Uh, expect the AI to change shape. Expect the AI to change mentality and definitely expect the AI to change formations. Just like you might have a few formations in your hand, you should be wary of the AI changing things around. Uh, corner. Ah, oh, look at that. It's 3-3. Three, three. Uh, sorry, free kick. 3-3. Three, three. Barcelona 3, Real Madrid 3. This is such a game. And they've got, to get the goal, they got attacking very fluid. So, the AI will do these kind of things to you in a game. This is something you have to expect. And the only way you're going to be able to counteract uh, the AI doing all this kind of stuff to you is to make sure that you're and uh, people talk about a balanced formation okay and, they, and some people have come out oh, a balanced formation should have X number of players in this zone Y number of players in that zone okay honestly that's all garbage okay a balanced system in SI we're not talking about real life football a balanced system in football manager is when your roles and your duties okay allow for maximum coverage of the pitch so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have the right number of players coming back to defend a zone and uh, that's all you need to do and then when you're attacking you have the right number of players involved in transitions so here you can see our transitions from defense to attack are brilliant Messi into the box shoots against the, and hits the upright and I'm only playing with one central defender only to prove a point because I was testing the engine out. So this is what I always do on a beta. I'll test uh, engines, the engines out with ridiculous systems. Okay. Uh, anyway, my Real Madrid team are undefeated in 11 matches. So we can afford to try different things. In fact, we've won 11 matches on the, on the trot. Suarez, nice pass to Messi. One touches it to Rakitic. Rakitic, oh, what a goal. That's pure genius. 4-3. And what does the AI do? Changes its mentality. Look, you keep looking at this. You want to be noticing things. And how do you notice this in a game? Because we're not going to be getting um, these formation changes and uh, mentality changes are not going to be very apparent when the game goes live. So um, you're going to have to look at things like um, things like the dots. Uh, not the dots, rather the... Um, relative positions how many people are taking part in a transition these are the inf information that you will need the number of people that take part in a transition is a function of the number of support duties and suarez makes it four three it's a function of the number of support duties you have okay so the more support duties you have uh these are the players that drop drop uh you know go up to defend and, and go down to defend and go up to attack suarez you beauty five three barcelona five Real Madrid 3. This is an asinine tactic. <laughs> it works. Quantro to clears it. And uh, here we go. Kovacic. And now you look at that. Bas uh, Real Madrid is got attacking very fluid because they want a goal. So AI is going to do that to you. They're going to go and change their mentality and their shape and probably some of the duties as well when they want to come after you to try and score a goal. So, your tactic has to be balanced when you set it up. It has to be set up with the right roles, the right duties to, for you to make it work. And I'm going to tell you one thing right off the bat. 
If you set up the system with the right roles, the right duties, then all you need to do in a game is just change a bit of mentality, a bit of shape, and you've sorted. How many shots do you need in a game? At most about five, four, four minimum. Highest you probably go is six. You won't need more than, in fact, for most of the games, you probably won't need more than four shots, four or five shots. In our system, we're playing with a very high defensive line. Uh, here, we lost Gerard Piquet to an injury, and I had to bring on Samuel Umtititi. I think that's what's his name. Umtiti, yes. So basically, I had to bring in a youngster, and this is even more telling. How did we play? Even with that youngster there, no, no drama, no nothing. We had no issues. Match stats for the game. As you can see, 53 possession, four clear cut chances. They had three clear cut chances. We scored, we had a lot of good chances in the game. Very happy with the way we played with this ridiculous system. Definitely things have changed in this game. Um, okay, training. Training looks like training. <laughs> okay, the same. Nothing really much has changed. But what I like right now is uh, there's certain small little UI changes. A fair bit of UI changes have gone in to make it a life a bit more friendly for all of us. Okay, we've got this little here thing you can I mean this is from the last version of the game but things I like team report has been changed slightly tactics this individual tactical familiarity um, just don't forget your opposition instructions uh, you can set that up as well uh, set piece people have mentioned that they're having issues with set pieces there's nothing on the set pieces it's still the same um, you know setting the set pieces up I my advice to you get your set pieces sorted for the game um, in terms of analysis, basically the backroom analysis is still very much the same. Team talk feedback, they can tell you what's happened. It's also the same from the last, from the last, um, you know, FM sixteen. Other than that, pre-match there's more information. Post-match there's more information. See how your tactic is done. Brilliant, I love it. Okay, match engine. Are there have there been a lot of changes? Not really. Minor changes here and there. There'll be some role. Uh, you can expect SI to tweak this game slightly. Um, the closer we get to release date, so. Things might change. However, there's one thing that's not going to change. Okay? And I can guarantee you that. That much I will put, you know, I, I will nail myself to the wall if it if it's becomes impossible. The thing is, if you balance mentality, team shape, team instructions, roles and duties, you can make any tactic work in this game. Trust me, as long as the tactics make sense, you will not have a problem. So take that uh, in mind because that's the goal. That's where SI is heading with their game. They want to make sure that this game is... It, they, it's going to be like this. They want you to immerse yourself into the role of a manager at the touchline, making this just, you know, you're gesticulating on the side. You can all like go wide, drop down, stuff like that. That's what they want you to do. They don't want you to sit beside on the touchline holding a computer and calculator and calculating. Now, if I move this play up two notches, it will off balance this guy. And then what if I off balance this guy and this guy? No, they don't want you to do that. Okay? So they don't want you to be a. Uh, you know, a micro mesochist, okay? So they, what they want you to do is they have fun. So having fun means taking advantage of what the game has to offer. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video uh, I've done for the game. Um, as the release date gets closer, I'll be doing more of these. And I also, I also have a book in the pipeline, which is about uh, making tactics for FM. Basically applying everything that uh, I talk about. It, it's meant to help finance uh, the cost of running the YouTube channel, my website, and other stuff. You know, I try to, I try to do. This. It's it's dumped a lot of the work that I've done over the years, and I'm trying to finish this book uh, and get it ready uh, for release as soon as I can. But naturally, you know, as books get, you know, the more you write, the bigger it becomes, and it covers everything from tactics, how you set things up, player, well. How you choose players or uh, transitions i explain a lot about transitions and how you create one tactic that can last you for maybe a few seasons so so basically that's what i'm doing and i hope that you, you get as much information out of this because i i just want to leave as much as i acknowledge as i have about the game for all of you to enjoy so that you don't end up spending money smashing the monitor right you can go out there and have fun with the game so have a good one you take care if you really like this if you like the show not really just like the show will do okay if you like the show please drop me a like subscribe to the show let others know about it and i look forward to hearing from all of you i'm sorry it took me a long time to do a youtube show on football manager but things happen at home 
I had to attend to the little younglings running around the house and make sure that they're all sorted before the, uh, football season starts again. And it's about to start, so the younglings are taken care of. I'm back. Have a good one. You take care. Bye-bye.